Mwata Trail is officially the oldest overnight hiking trail in South Africa. And there will be a lot more videos coming out about the Otter Trail in the coming weeks. So stay tuned to this channel and hit that subscribe button if you would like to see those. Today what's on the menu is going from Andre Hut all the way to the end of the trail which is at the Fasselot campsite in Nature's Valley. It's 10 point something kilometers. There's only really one uphill climb left which is from the hut up to the top and then there's a downhill descent to the beach at Nature's Valley. I don't really want to leave. I want to continue going but today is our, our last trail. I'm definitely going to come back and do the art again as often as I possibly can. This trail is amazing. So the trail itself continues along this beach and then exits the beach just up ahead there. Hut number two is over here. Hills for breakfast! Hills for breakfast! Hey Ralph, why does your backpack look so much smaller? Because I got so much bigger! <laughs> it's not because you drank all 12 of the beers that you brought with it. And that! <laughs> we carried a case of beer. A case of beer. This is where you exit the Pebble Beach just below hut number two at Andre Hut to go back onto the Otter Trail. Alright, then you come down back onto the beach again. And there's another little yellow arrow. And you're going to turn right the way that the arrow points. There's some otter footprints and a sign telling you that this is the Clip River. And you can actually see on the other side of the river over there is another yellow arrow. So we just need to cross. It's pretty low at the moment. Here's the exit from the Clip River. And so it begins. The climb. Immediately. Yo, this is a steep one. Can you see the huts from oh yeah you can you totally can cool yeah, so we're doing some definite descending here and we need to somehow get across this little gorgy because we can see the path on that side. Oh, we're going down. So I think we're, yeah, we're going to go down and back up. So maybe, maybe the uphills are not entirely done for this day yet. <laughs> I think this is just to get through this little gorge. I don't think we go down to the sea again. Yeah, that descent was part of the thing. It was a decent descent. A <laughs> decent descent. I wish I could convey in video how it smells here. It's like this mixture of the salty sea smell and the smell of the feinbos and there's all these various different flowers that sometimes give a different smell. It's really amazing. Oh, we're getting to the end. <laughs> Tuna and olives for lunch today. Yeah. For some reason, these wooden stairs freak me out more than yeah. anything else. They're quite steep. Yeah. I wish we were just checking in at Storms River. <laughs> We, we have to come and do it again, Rob. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because we still have to do that whole section along the river there. Let's do it. I want to do it. That's all that's done. It 
So where that green sign is, is where you exit the Nature's Valley Beach to continue the trail. And it says, attention all Otter Trail hikers. Please follow this route to the Defasolat Rest Camp for compulsory checkout at the reception. Follow the yellow otter print along the route to ensure safe arrival in the camp. And that is pretty important because there is a way to get onto the Titsikama Trail from here where you go up into the mountains again. And you should not do that because then you're on a completely different trail. Oh, this is the Titsikama trail. This is your first hut. Ah, so this is actually a Titsikama trail hut. Yeah. Okay, we can start the Titsikama trail right now. This is a really important point. This sign that says Blokrans Hut, that's a hut on the Titsikama trail. So don't start going up these stairs here because you're starting a whole other hiking trail. What you want is the Fasselot Rest Camp, which is that little green sign down there that says the Fasselot Rest Camp. So here's another important turn off, turning off the Jeep track, which you can see is blocked off with sticks there, and this arrow pointing you down the single track path. And I believe that there's one last river crossing coming up. Is this still fine? Yeah, you know, just like Stand keep your shoulders up. Standing your toes, standing your toes. No, it's <laughs> Are you okay there? Thank you. Thank you so much. You okay, Greta? I'm safe. Is it like a super bad idea to get in on this side? No, it's fine. All fine. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else that's on you can get back, so. It's very cold. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. <gasps> oh, hello. Hello. Some bumpy bits there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so right after your legs have been frozen in the final <laughs> river crossing, you tackle the final climb. Yeah, well, that climb wasn't actually so bad, and now we're back out on the Jeep track going to the Fasselot campsite. This tree just kind of like obliterated the bridge. Do you see it fell on it and like broke it into? But it, you can walk through there. You can see where Luke is going now and where Finn has gone. Down we go. So like step, down there. Yeah. step down here. Okay. okay. And just come over. So we found a little otter paw print on the side of this thingy. So we're pretty sure that we are on the correct track. About to get to the end. Little lookout point on a, a river. I think this is this is the Groot River, and that is the tar road bridge that goes over it. The end of the otter. Guys, you have to hurry. I've got 7% battery remaining. Awkward hug. Yay! Woo! Woo! Awesome! Oh! <laughs> okay, so with my last little bit of remaining battery, when you finish through that archway, you do have to walk back along the road to get to the Fasselot campsite. So you must just be careful for traffic and so on. If you want to get your certificate from the de Fasselot reception, you have to get here before five o'clock because that's when they close. Then you have to wait till the next day. This is the best certificate I've ever oh, seen. I don't know, rushing up ahead and chasing on the wildlife way before anyone else gets there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Should definitely get the otter shot and the otter trail certificate from yeah, the Blue Rocks definitely. Cafe and Grill in Nature's Valley. It's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more from me, then you can click on my channel name to see videos that I've made in the past, or you can subscribe to my channel to see videos that I'm going to make in the future.